Hello and welcome. These are the things that you are going to use in performing your experiments. This is a rectangular glass prism. These are optical pins. So, but what I want to do is just to guide you in our next lesson for this NECO exam. We are going to do it and practicalize it. Even in your schools, your teacher may still have to do it for you. Alright? So what we are going to do now is I have performed this experiment and these are the values I got from one of the past questions. What you have, this uh, rectangular glass prism, you do you draw the edges. You put you put it like this and draw the edges like this. Draw the edges. Sorry, this thing is shaking. When you may have uh, uh, shaking, but when you may have drawn it, so you have A, B, C, D. Then the question will tell you to mark it, make a mark from here to here, maybe four C F. You draw from here to here, four C F. So you can label this place L. So now this place is your Q. This is your Q here. This point for Q. This point for your what? R. Then you put you are two you put two pins here yeah, two pins here yeah and here yeah. put one here yeah. put one here yeah. then the angle use your protractor to measure the first angle the first angle measure this 75 degrees so you measure 75 from here to here then when you make first of all measure the angle like this draw the line then you put the two pins when you put the two pins you replace the instruction is always given there replace with this prism then you come down here. And trace, put one here, put one here, then you draw it, draw it like this to join this, to join this place here. Then this is the line, this is, this, is, this is the angle, this is what you are looking for. So this place that it is, you call this place O. So in the first place, we have QO and RO. You measure this from here to here and from here to here, here to here and here to here. That's how I got all these values. Measure from here to, from here to here. We give you QO. I got these values. Then measure this line of refraction. You get these values. Then the question says evaluate. It says evaluate. Evaluate. It's not a difficult thing. Evaluate QO over what? RO. We are going to evaluate this now. Please remember to complete your unit. See it is correct like this. You can make these two decimal places. So two decimal places. So we are going to divide this divided by this in each case. So let's use our calculator. Let's use our calculator to divide this. So QO over R O that is 1.60 divided by 6.60. Divided by 6.60 is equal to 0 0.24. Two, four. That's for this first one. The second one, two point zero zero divided by seven point zero zero gives us zero point two eight five seven. Zero point two eight five seven. Now what we are going to do is to leave this thing in three decimal places. So two four two two eight six three decimal places. All right. So you can leave it for the small places, but it's better like this. But if it is cosine and sine or reciprocal, you make it for the small places, right? So we have 2.15 divided by 7.30 gives us 0 0.2945. 0 0.2945. Then next one, 3.10, 3.10 divided by 7.60. This gives us 0 0.4079. 0 0.4079. Then finally, 4.50 divided by 8.00. We give us 0 0.565625. The next we have to do is to find the cosine of theta as the cosine of this, this value. So first thing, cos cos 45, cos 75 gives us 0 0.2588. 0 0.2588 in the question you may not be asked to do it like this whatever you are asked to evaluate you follow it you keep making your tables but in this very question we were asked to evaluate cos theta evaluate this very this is then this is also evaluates what evaluate the, the 
values of, of what? Cos theta. Then we are going to plot the graph of this against this. Alright, so we are going to find cos theta in, in each case. So in this second one, cos 65, very quickly cos 65 is 0 0.4226. 0 0.4226 then cos 55 cos 55 0 0.5736 we approximate 0 0.5736 very quickly now cos cos 45 you can be doing that with me cos 45 0 0.7071 0 0.7071 Okay, now cos 45, cos 45, 0 0.7071, then cos 35, 0 0.8192. We are now going to plot the graph of this against this. All right. So we are going to plot the graph of these two. So we draw this like this and like this. Cos theta vertical axis. So put it. Okay, let's write it here. Cos theta like this because of the space. Then um, um, Q O over R O. Have to draw this calculator. This is zero. The highest value for this cos theta is 81 and lowest 25. So we can say, let's use 8 there. So 10, 10, 10, 10. So we have 10, 0 0.10, 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.50, 0 0.60, 0 0.70, 0 0.80, 0 0.90 this is cos theta all right so here the highest is 563 the lowest is 24 56 and 24 we can use 0 0.1 okay 0 0.10 0 0.20 0 0.30 0 0.40 0 0.50 0 0 0 0 0 and the uh, sorry 0 0.60 because we have 53 so we cannot plot this graph can plot this graph quickly when when this is 2 4 this is 20 this is 25 20 25 30 0 0.20 0 0.30 so this is 25 this one is 2588 8. so 2 2 6 approximate 2 6 so this is 2 0 this is 2 5 2 6 is here so we trace it up like this I hope we can trace that, make dots, then circle it. So I will we'll, we'll, we'll be cleaning this because it's not right. All right, next one. Uh, two, this is 2, 9, approximate 2, 9. 2, 9. That is almost 30. I hope this thing is proper. Okay, it's supposed to be here. Exact. So 30 should be here. So I'm not using a graph book, but it has to be 29 is here. 4, 2, 4, 2, 40. 41, 42. So comes here. We have it. I hope this is okay. You know, we are estimating it like this. So we may not get the exact values. Uh, all right, so get the next one. This is 3 0. If you approximate this to this, this is 30. So we have to go by 30 now. 30 gives us 5, 7, 50, 55, 56, 57. Alright, half of it is 55. This is how to check it. So we approximate, we bring it up, bring it up. Alright, we are getting, it's not, it's not, it's not so straight. Alright, next one. You know this one is on like it's a rough thing, it's a rough graph, so you can do it better with a graph sheet. 4171, 4171 is 4041 is here, then 71, 41, 
Tracy Dog is here. Alright, so the last one, 5681. Five, 5 after 5, half of it is 5 5, so 5 6 is here. Then 8 1, 80, 80, 85, 81 is here. So this is it. Alright. So now you can join the lines. Wow. Okay. So let me see. Let me just do it like this. These two are off. These two are off. So if we just manage to get. See it now. So I will obtain. So you can draw. Get your slope. Use this here to here. Which determines your slope. So this place, this side is what? Year to year. Is what? Change in what? Change in cos theta. Then year is change in what? Changes, change in this. Okay, change in QO over RO. So in this your 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 your, 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 your slope is the change in here in this place over change in this place. So let me solve it here. So where you have upper value. That is what? 80, 82. 82. So we are using 82 here because when you are it's 82. So we are using 82. This 82. 82 plus 82. You are slow. You are slow. You are slow. Is changing cos theta over changing this. Let me use this now. It's equal to right. So changing cos theta 82 minus this lower is um, 26 all right divided by this this value here is our 056 eh? this is 0 0.82 rather 0 0.82 minus 0 0.2c sorry over 0 0.56 minus i just started to use a uh, 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 2 minus 0 0.24 0 0.24 you can still put it in the so this is because this is what you're using here so let, well, let's divide it and get the value, subtract and get the value let me finish it here. we don't have space and i don't want to clean the board 0 0.82 minus 0 0.26 is equal to 0 0 0.56 divided by divided by 0.56 minus 0 0.24 0 0.36 so when you divide this you get divided by 0.36 you get 1.55 that is 1.6 so this is the answer this value of your word your slope 1.6 so have you seen what you have done we have been able to do then you can stay to a precaution you avoided error due to parallax and other things so now uh, uh, we are still going to perform another experiment nobody will tell you that it's very sure of the way the equations will be as long as it involves prism and pins so we are still going to do two solve two more questions so that at least out of the three two will be given to you something like the two will be given to you thank you very much mr primus